Justice delayed is justice denied and Claudette Federicks, a journalist by profession, says she believes that her son may have been murdered by a servant rank of the Georgetown City Constabulary after he ran out of the Georgetown outpost. Fighting to hold back tears and her emotions and to remain calm, Federicks reported that she wants justice to be served in this case as she expressed concern over the conflicting results of the post-mortem which was conducted on her son's body after the shooting. Well, yesterday we collected the autos autopsy report, right? but the autopsy report that we have differs vastly from what the police told us that the pathologist found. The police told us that it's entry at the back, lower back, exit neck. The report that we have says gunshot injuries to the chest. That makes it vastly different, yes. right? So right now we have filed a complaint to get what our report is saying changed to the actual thing because I was there on the scene and my son was shot. So for you now to have the document that I have saying something different is vast, vastly or it's very much not professional. Frederick said that her son could have been alive if the officer had demonstrated more professionalism and caution. She related that the entire family is moved by his killing and the circumstances which led to the incident. It has hit us hard. Regardless of my son's mental state, he wasn't that threat to anyone. He never robbed anybody. He does his buying and selling trade. He sells um, these gadgets and so on, electronic gadgets and so on. And that is what he do to make a, a lawful living, a legal living. At the time of doing the interview, Frederick said that while the council did reach out to her in an attempt to engage her, she wants answers and is prepared to go to the full length of the law to seek recourse. What I really want is to know that they're persecuting the guy, especially those who battered my son the day before and then no this was this was an actual killing this is a murder my son was running away right running away stumbled and well he didn't like actually down on the ground but he stumbled and that would be from all i'm hearing after for the gunshot hit going his back exiting neck if he was in full standing position running it would have gone right through right so coming out neck which means the man stumbled there less than eight feet ahead of you, an injured man, right? You tell me why it is as a law officer, you couldn't get to apprehend him. And the man was in a weakened state because for one thing, he told me when he called me the morning, my son didn't eat anything from the night before. Today, dozens of people converged in various parts of the city and in areas close to the city constabulary as they gave their own version of what took place and how the matter should be dealt with. What is certainly clear is that the incident has left a bitter sweet taste, not only in the mouths of the family of Marlon Federicks, but all those people who claim that they were assaulted, beaten and violated over the years without recourse by an indisciplined and unprofessional city constabulary. Michael Young, The Evening News.